Hello, little mathematicians, and welcome back to your favorite online mathematics show. This is not the warriors in today's episode we're going to study on how to arrange or order the numbers properly but before we proceed to our lesson for today let me ask you a question have you ever tried to compare the numbers that's good can you identify which number is bigger or smaller that's great because our lesson for today is Ordering numbers. In ordering the numbers, we have two ways. These are ascending order and descending order. Ascending order is when you arrange or order the numbers from least to greatest. Yes, it's right. When you arrange the number from smaller up to bigger, that is an ascending order. Example. I have here 5, 2, 8, 3, and 6. If I arrange these numbers in ascending order, it must be 2, 3, 5, 6, and 8. Good job! Descending order. When you arrange the number from greatest to least, that is a descending order. Meaning to say, you started from biggest going to smallest. And that kind of way or ordering of number is what we call the descending order. You got it right. Again, I have here 8, 6, 2, 5, and 3. If I arrange these numbers in descending order, it must be 8, 6, 5, 3, and 2. That is the descending order. Can you do it? Yeah! In ordering the numbers, we have to compare which is smaller or bigger. And in comparing the numbers, we have three symbols that we can use for us to identify which is bigger or smaller. These are less than, greater than, and equal. We use less than if the number is lesser or smaller than the other number. We use greater than if the number is bigger or greater than the other number. And of course, we use equal if the number is the same as the other number. Again, we have less than, greater than, and equal. Again, in comparing numbers, we have three symbols that we can use. We have less than, greater than, and equal. Once more, less than, greater than, and equal. Now, can you use those symbols in comparing or ordering the numbers? Let's try! So let me see if you can use the symbols correctly in comparing the numbers. Let's see for example, I have here 12 and 16. What symbol are we going to use? Correct! We're going to use less than because 12 is less than 16. What about 25 and 13? What symbol are we going to use? I can hear you! Again? Good job! We're going to use greater than because 25 is greater than 13. What about 72 and 72? What symbol are we going to use? Correct! We're going to use equal because 72 is equal in 72 also. Meaning to say they are equal or has the same value. And that is our lesson for today about ordering the numbers. I hope that you learned a lot for this lesson. So see you again next time to another episode of Learning to the program that says Mathematics is not a difficult subject. Again, I am your teacher AJ saying goodbye!